In this video, I will take some very basic simplifications with trig functions and its inverse functions. So let us look at all five problems. So we have three problems here with sine inverse x over a, sine inverse x over a, sine inverse x over a. So number one, number two, and number five, I will work with this triangle. So the idea is just the basic Soka Toa. So if you take a right triangle, when you say you have sine inverse x over a, so you know x is my opposite, is here, and a is the hypotenuse. If you have like this, then using Pythagorean, you can easily find this leg, which is a squared minus x squared. Now, when I have the first one, like tangent sine inverse x over a, this is equivalent to, say, tan inverse, so this over this. So tan inverse in the opposite over adjacent. So it will be x over square root of a square minus x square. And you know the relations. You have tan tan inverse, they will cancel out your answer will be just x over square root of a squared minus x squared. You are done for the first one. When you go to the second one, you have cosine of sine inverse. Again, x over a goes from this triangle, and we can convert this sine inverse to cosine inverse, like cosine inverse will be adjacent over hypotenuse. So it will be square root of a squared minus x squared over a. So then again, cosine cosine inverse will cancel out. You get a squared minus x squared over a. So we are done for the first one and second one. Now I'm going to number five also because I have sine inverse this. And we need to remember one basic formula from pre-calculus that if you have sine 2 theta, you know this one is 2 sine theta cosine theta. So if you apply that one, you can see here. So number 5 will give me now 1 half 2 sine. My theta is sine inverse x over a and then cosine theta. Theta is sine inverse x over a. Now you can see that these two, these two cancelled out. Now sine sine inverse will give me just x over a. And we have seen cosine sine inverse we got already using this triangle as cosine cosine inverse. Okay, so two we had cosine sine inverse the same as square root of a squared minus x squared over a and you are done you can just leave it there so we are done with one two and number five just using that triangle so number three and four will go in the same way i just need to make another right triangle so when i'm looking at tan inverse x over a so you know tau r is opposite and adjacent so opposite is x and adjacent is a. If you have these two legs, then you know that the hypotenuse will be a squared plus x squared. Now, when we work for number three, so I have sine. Now, tan inverse x over a from these will make it sine inverse x over a square root of a squared plus x squared. And then, you know, sine sine inverse will cancel out. You get x over square root of a squared plus x squared. This is number three. And then number four, so four will be now cosine. Since it's 10 inverse, again, same triangle. So we just need to see what is cosine in here. That will be cosine inverse a over the square root of a squared plus x squared. That gives me a over square root of x squared plus x squared. So simple. If you have basic knowledge, 
then you can easily get your solutions.